Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. We're in a very cinematic evening in the Persian Gulf and we've got our two beautiful F-16s. Today we're going to look at interior lighting, exterior lighting and night vision. We'll do night vision first because it's the quickest. So, to turn the night vision goggles on is that there and we can change the intensity with that there and that there. Night vision goggles on as we saw. Intensity down, intensity up. Next is our flashlight. Our flashlight is left, alt and lima. And that means if we're in the dark for some reason and we need to look round, we can have our flashlight looking round. Use, really useful piece of kit. Next, we're going to do interior lighting. It's this panel here. First is the consoles knob and this lighting is second to none. It's so cool in this plane. Consoles on and you get this lovely backlit green dials and stuff around here. And then we've got the flight instruments and uh, the front panel everything backlit looks awesome next we've got the DED brightness there it is you can see the brightness come up on it there ping as bright as you want there next we've got the flood lighting which is even cooler I always fly with flood lighting on I don't think they would do in a real plane but it's just so cool you've got to have it on it looks awesome that's for the consoles this is for the instrument panel that's how I would fly there this switch here is causing some real confusion. It's called Mal and Ind Lights. And we can go press and hold dim, or we can press and hold bright according to the flight manual. It changes the angle of attack, the nose wheel steering, the DED, the ECM, the MFDs, the PFLD, and the threat warning indicators to either bright or dim. It doesn't do any of that at the moment, so it's probably just not working at the moment. All it does is change these lights. So that one is still to be introduced we think we've got the angle of attack indexer here and we've got a little guy here that you can change the brightness for that there which is pretty cool and we've got the same here this is nozzle steering and uh, what is it air to air refueling and we can pop him up and we can pop him down next is exterior lights we're going to start here we've got our landing lights currently off we can set them to taxi and we get that pattern there and if we set them to landing, then we get that pattern there. You see a much more powerful and direct and far reaching beam. Next, we've got our exterior light panel here, controlled by the master knob here. So we've got off, we've got the covert modes, which we'll look at in a bit, and we've got normal. So just treat off as off, normal as on, and we'll look at the covert modes in a bit. So with the master set to norm, we'll go one at a time. First of all, air to air, refueling and open up the air refueling you can see our light on top of there illuminating our air refueling port next we're going to go for our position lights so we can have them either flashing or we can have them steady i'm going to go to flashing and we've got wing and tail and we've got fuselage so let's turn those to bright it's going to have a look flashing on the end of the wings we have got down there the bottom of the fuselage the intake a light at the rear there Next, I'm going to go formation lights. We could toggle these to the brightness that we want. I'm going to go to max brightness. You can see there. Next, we're going to go in the most fun one, our anti-collision lights. We can have them off or we can have them in seven settings. One, two, three, four, A, B, C. They are different sequences of flashing. So one, for instance, would be just single flashes at the top of the tail. Let's uh, say three, two, three. One, two, three. And that's so if you wanted to identify your plane in the dark as a three beep or a four beep, that's how you can identify your position in the flight so they know which plane is which. Oh, we've got some more interesting sequences. We've got A, beep, 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 beep. Or even more interesting, why don't we go to sequence C? Beep, 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 beep. beep. Oh, six beeps by the looks of it. And A, B and C are just extra sequences that you can have for whatever you want to set them up as to mean in your flight. All that leaves is the covert modes. We've got all, we've got anti-collision and we've got formation. According to the manual, these are three modes which are suitable for using the night vision goggles. In reality, at the moment, if I go to all, all we've got is the air to air refueling light and the landing light still on obviously if we went to anti-collision then you can see that we've got basically everything apart from the anti-collision if we went to form then we've just got the anti-collision 
and the air to air refueling light. We're not sure that the covert modes are working at the moment, but we stand to be corrected. It doesn't say what they do in the manual. That's it for interior, exterior, and night vision. I hope that was useful. And see you later.